Oh, hey, how's it going? I, I didn't see you there. A house tour? Uh, you know, I'm actually just on my way to go run some- Oh, no, okay. No, that's- All right, you're in. Let's give you a house tour. You know, honestly, I would, I would just, I would love to do this right now, but I just feel like there's a lot better times. Oh, okay, no, okay, you got a knife. Uh, all right, yeah, let's, no, let's go. Come on. So we'll start with the living room. Obviously, the first thing you walk in. Now, the first thing you might notice are like the fucking Greek Colosseum columns, television, which I have not ever once watched, uh, besides walking by while other people were watching stuff on it. But it's a nice little setup, uh, a lot of couch space, you know, so a lot of people can sit down and relax. Anybody, you know, stays, drinks a little bit too much, they can obviously sleep on the couch. But you don't get any fucking covers, you don't get any covers! Okay, no, I guess there's some covers there, but you don't fucking touch those covers, okay? Alright, now some of you guys know that I do really like to cook, and that was one of the biggest parts I loved about this house. Um, as you can see right here, it's got this motherfucking double oven. Two ovens. Have you ever seen a kitchen with two ovens? I didn't even know they existed. Check them. One. Why is it? It's hot. Oh, fuck. It's, it's on. Okay. Well, that's not good. I wonder how long that's been on for. Now, the problem is, uh, I was just about to get before I, I almost caught the house burning down, is that uh, neither of these ovens work. Yeah. There was actually some issue with them, and um, the left one doesn't work. And the right one only works at 450 degrees and above. So if I want to cook anything, I just got to cook the shit out of it. I mean, I did. I cooked like a chicken rice casserole. It worked, but it cooked the shit out of it. Now also, I mean, this isn't too exciting. It's a sink, but it's a big fucking sink. And that means a lot. When you actually cook and wash things, you don't want to be washing inside of like a little fucking mini tub. Okay, now you probably saw this when we first came in here. Now this is the big ass fucking fridge. Also, by the way, they're both Viking brand. Viking professional. Viking professional and they both don't work So uh, Viking get your shit together, please uh, But yeah, the, the as you can see it's empty We have our temporary fridge right there because this one's just acting up a little bit um, Like it's cold in here, but the problem is is all of the fucking all of the temperature All of the cooling comes right from here the fridge and the freezer But the problem is is it gets wet down there and then it freezes and then the, the coldness can't get through the freezes it's broken, okay? That's all that fucking matters. But yeah, so this is our temporary fridge, which, to be quite honest, you don't really need a fucking badass Viking fridge. This shit works, dude. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in there. They say not to overpack your fridge, but I'm sure it's all been, it's all been chilled pretty nicely. And uh, that's what a freezer looks like, if you've never seen one. Good job. Okay, wait, before we go into the next room, which is, which is a fancy room, I just want to show you guys the oven, because everything besides the fact that it doesn't work is, is amazing. See these, little, see these little fucking numbers right there? Boom, heat lamp. Boom. Because if you make food, you know, and you decide you just don't want to eat it after you made it, fucking heat lamp. Okay, that's kind of sticky. All right, if you're wondering what these are, they are not to burn people's faces. That's for the motherfucking panini broiler, which I'll probably never use, but, you know. Oh, God, no, please, no. That's good enough. Uh, this is water to fill up your pans. I don't know who the fuck is that lazy where you can't just turn around and fill it up there. You need to run a whole new fucking line of, but it works. I uh, probably won't spurt water into these. That's probably not a good idea. So let's just put that back. And the piece de resistance, it even has a goddamn light. Now, this best part about this light is not many people know this. It's kind of secret, but uh, if you press it just right, it actually goes into a light show mode. Check that out. So, you know, if you're ever cooking, you just want to just have a fucking light show over your food. It probably makes it taste better. I don't know. We're just gonna leave that on. All right. Okay. No, it's actually broken. You just—it's broken. I lied. All right. Now, right here, easily gotta be one of my favorite rooms. This would be your little. This is the goof and gaff room. You play, you party, you laugh, you goof and gaff. Uh, but yeah, you see, you got a pool table right here. Now, it's not just a fucking pool table, guys. It's also—it's also a table. No, I'm serious. No, there's, it's actually. You see these boards over here? It's also a ping pong table. Now I'm kind of a lazy asshole, so I'm not gonna like, set it up for you guys and play a little bit of ping pong to show you. Also, I have no friends. Um, but yeah, there you can kind of see it right there. There's some paddles in here. They're a little sticky. 
and you, you get the fucking point. Yeah, you know, basically what you get the ball, you roll the pulley, and that made it in, don't worry, just trust me. And uh, also, got a fireplace right here, which I pretty much guarantee will never be used, and maybe never has been used. I mean, there's firewood there, so it makes me want to burn it, but... And of course, what's what's a fucking goof and gaff room without some oversized goddamn beanbag chairs, which I'm pretty surprised were somehow got through this door. I mean, this one's a little chubbier, you know. Uh, it's nice though, you know. You guys, okay, you're gonna see me jumping. Okay, you guys. Just... Oh, dude, that's I got I kind of got scared a little bit. I thought I was gonna hurt myself, but it didn't. It just cradled me like a child. All right, well, before we go into my bedroom, which I'll probably save for last, let's check out the backyard, which it's pretty sexy. All right, so as you can already see, just take a look at that. There's another fireplace right there, right? Crazy. Uh, there's also this weird body of water thing in the middle uh, that collects leaves. I'm not really sure what that's for, but um, I, no, it's nice. Keeps the backyard a little bit cool when it's hot. Um, maybe one day we'll drain it and fill that in, maybe put some grass there. Don't really know what this is for. we also got this little dividing section, um, probably for fishing. Uh, Breed some fish in there and catch some trout. Sounds about right. All right, uh, hold on. I've never, I've literally never actually been back here, so anything can happen. That's kind of cool. All right, some water or something. That's that's great. Okay. All right. Well, it was uh, kind of anticlimactic. But apart from that, that's obviously my car, my cute little parking spot right there. I got a cleaner. She's a dirty girl. Don't make fun of me. Uh, yeah. And then this is other parking spots. It looks like. Actually, everybody's gone, so I'm just here alone with that elliptical. You don't know what I'll do. You don't know what I'll do to that thing. Also, gate, pretty useful. Uh, people love to fuck with my car. Um, I don't know, because I'm a young person and it's kind of a nice car. So people tend to key it, and it's been keyed probably about eight different times. Have people keyed it, punctured it with their keys, hit the roof, hit the back. Sad world we live in. But there's one more thing. And that is the outhouse. And just listen to the vocals in here. Just <laughs> we'll save my angelic voice for another video, okay? Um, but yeah, uh, Joe, who actually, by the way, I should probably explain. Uh, Joe, we actually went to the same middle school, same high school, and everything. He was a grade above me in middle school. We weren't really friends back then because you just stick with your grade. But yeah, we hung out a lot in high school, became good friends. And this is actually his dad's place. Um, and he's renting it out. He's living here. His one of his brothers are living here and uh, renting it out to me Yeah, this is actually like Joe's weight setup. I think it's theirs, uh, which is awesome with a fucking squat rack a really really nice weights over there uh, good bars and even you know a pretty good a pretty good bench press So uh, yeah, the sooner he sets it up the sooner I can uh, tell myself I'm gonna use it and then never use it All right. All right. All right. I know you guys been waiting for the entire time to see my room Let's go check it out this is it. Also, the cool part is, is these are the other people's rooms. There's a room here, there's a room there, and then Joe's room is all the way down there. See, I like my room because you got this this nice little buffer. You got this nice little buffer right here of space. Uh, so then I'm screaming out dick jokes while I'm streaming. Uh, maybe people hear it a little bit less. They're still gonna hear it, but uh, a little bit less. But here it is, guys. I'm gonna close the door and I'm gonna lock it because we're gonna be rubbing some forehead jelly on ourselves after this. But let me just give you a quick pan. Alright, so first of all, the bed, guys. Where the magic happens, and uh, by magic, I mean somehow getting those urine stains out of the sheets. Pure magic. No, but um, it's act it was supposed to be a queen. Ends up actually being a full, which, I mean, I don't mind that much. Me and Erica have actually already slept on it together, and it's not that bad. It's a tempur so, um, you know, you could put a wine glass on the side for no fucking reason and watch that, you know, you don't tip it over. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but uh, it sounds like fun. Now, if you guys remember from my last house tour, it was pretty fucking painful uh, how I had to get dressed in the morning. I got my little, this is like my fucking closet, right? Honestly, this is actually my closet. I don't have any clothes, so it's not that big of a deal, but I don't think I've ever had a closet this goddamn amazing. Just take, take a fucking gander. Take a gander, and there's another side too. You thought that was it, didn't you? Well, you couldn't be more wrong. There's another side. There we go. But no, seriously, it feels really good to finally get all my clothes hanging again. Um, I had like eight fucking plastic bags of clothes shoved under Erica's bed, and this this is basically all of them, all of them right here. But yeah, it's nice because I also have a lot of camera equipment. I have a lot of bags with stuff, so everything seems to fit nicely in here. All my shoes, all my shit. 
I mean, and of course, as you probably noticed, it's a fucking mirror. It's just a gigantic mirror. Now, Erica's pretty jealous about this. She only has like a tiny little shitty mirror. Um, but I mean, come on. Come on. Is she gonna look at this good in this mirror? I don't think so. Uh, okay, so before we get the computers, random shit. First of all, uh, don't use... Don't use paper bags as a trash bag. I don't know why the fuck I did that. Um, I might as well just kill myself now. Uh, besides that, uh, just doodads and dibbles and... Uh, if you're wondering this, this is just the last of the detergent. I kind of wanted to use it all before I bought more. Just if you were wondering what that little bag of blue stuff was. It's, uh, it's not chloroform. Okay, I keep that in the fridge. No, but obviously you guys know I cannot survive without my mini fridge, which is right here. Uh, with... Uh, some stuff in there, mostly drinks, and there's just the salsa. Salsa and drinks uh, go fucking crazy. And last but not least is the computer setup because that's basically all I'm good for, right? Uh, so it looks pretty much the same as you would have seen in Erica's house. Um, big difference is I actually switched around the monitors. So now I have one monitor here and one on the left. Now I originally had my Asus here and my Acer on the right. But I didn't like my hairline when I looked this way. I don't- this hairline's worse than this one. So on <laughs> this is actually the reason why I did this. Um, so when I look over at the comments, you see this hairline, uh, instead of this one. So that's just- yeah. But yeah, there's my shitty ass mic set up, which I hope to, uh, replace soon. Because this mixer- I- maybe it's just the mixer. It definitely is the mixer. It's absolutely horrible and has just constant static in the background. And you might be seeing this horrible cable management. Now, first of all, this is supposed to be pu pu pushed back to help a little bit. Um, I decided not to really set up my cables just yet, just while I get everything kind of settled a little bit and uh, figure out what things I want plugged in and what I don't. For now, it can kind of just be a little rat fuck infested thing over there. It works. It works. And the cool part is the, the, the computer's spaced out. So it doesn't get hot and you know it's nice. Now funny thing is I actually just broke my skull candy headphones, which is the ones I've been using like for fucking 10 years. Uh, Erica broke them. Okay, I'm not gonna say she broke them, but they broke when she had them. Okay? You hear that, Erica? Did you fucking hear that? No, I'm just kidding though. They were gonna break at some point. Um, and then Joe let me use these turtle beaches. These fucking badass, big ass turtle beaches. It thought it would say what kind of water on there, but it doesn't. And uh, you know, I tried them out and honestly. I don't really like them. Um, they're, first of all, you can see, okay, you guys can see what I look like with them on. Uh, so first of all, yeah, not making any fashion statements with this one. In fact, I'm pretty sure that these are bigger than my head, which is weird because I have a big head. Uh, doesn't look good, does it? No, but yeah, I, I appreciate Joe lending me those, but in the end, I fucking, my good old goddamn iPhone earbuds, which I actually got with uh, my newer iPhone, but they work just so fucking good. Uh, honestly, I was using these turtle beaches, which, I mean, not to talk shit about turtle beaches, but I'm gonna talk shit about turtle beaches. Uh, these are like one of the most expensive models, and I could not even hear the direction of gunshots or footsteps when I was playing H1Z1. I popped these fucking, these shitty little earbuds on, and suddenly I have like fucking super hearing, and, um, and it all comes back to me again. So, uh, I guess, you know, Joe, you can probably have those back. I appreciate it, but I guess I'll just be sticking to good old earbuds, guys. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll tell you guys how, how I get my recording set up going. I have this little remote, which are connected to those little uh, white remote <laughs> things down there. And if I click this button right here, just check it. Oh boy. Uh, so those are my two little lights right there. Just give me, you know, some, some front lighting. Fill a little bit the side of my face, fill in those shadows. Uh, let me turn those off. But either way, guys, that's going to be it for the new house tour. Now, once again, if you want to see the old house tour of when I moved into Erica's house, you can click on the screen right now or go in the description. I'll link them both. I'm just gonna have to walk you guys out now. You know, I'm, I'm extremely busy. I Now I have some errands to run. You guys took like an hour of my fucking time. So, you know, here's, okay, here's the door right here. Yeah, just, all right, yeah, just go ahead. There you go, there you go, okay. Now, it was, it was a lot of fun, okay? No, you know, I had a great time. I was, it was a lot of fun showing you the house. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome time. Please like the video, uh, comment what you think, subscribe, and just get the fuck out.